wonder, I guess, then what is, in your opinion, what is art? Okay, it's, it's a really great question. Um, and it's a question, because it's indefinable, it's worth asking. Mm. So you're never going to get a, a, you know, a solid answer from anybody. But mm. that's, it's almost, the, to say it um, as clearly as possible, which I wonder if I'm doing, the, the question is more important than the answer. Okay. It, it, it really is. Because if there are some things that I think if you keep going back and re-asking, they gain somehow more, more depth, more integrity, because you're always moving closer to an answer. Mm -hmm. So you don't always need an answer, but if you're moving down the road toward an answer, it's like discovering yourself and then looking back at your life and realizing you were several different people in according to the season in which you lived. Oh yeah, for sure. Trying to find the answer to that question makes the, the, the question legitimized. Um, I, I have a quote here because I thought about this, you know, when you brought this up to me, this opportunity to talk to you about these sorts of things. And I, I do think that some of people that preceded us who were really brilliant are wonderful places to go to seek out answers. Mm -hmm. So this is what Martha Mayer Burlbacher said. She was my oh. teacher. She said, quote, Art is the greatest possible realization of our deepest fears, joys, and instincts as human beings. The greatest possible realization. So to me, what that does is it gets to that idea of the, the crest of the wave, that you're, you're trying to, to target and pinpoint those parts of your life that you never want to forget. Like, you know, the moment that, that your child was born. You, that's that is indelibly etched in your memory and if you lose every memory you have but 10 of them that's one of the 10 mm. and, and that's where you want to live in art i think what art is really practically it's an industry built around the uh getaway the breakaway moments from the obligations of life so when people live their lives and they pay their bills and they do their jobs there are moments in their lives when they say i got to get away from this I got to step back and do something that I'd love to do that would be really creative for me that I know I need. And art is built around that. It's, and it's, it's like the entertainment industry in a sense, because mm -hmm. there are, there are practical components to it, realities to it. There are ways of getting better at it. And in the process of improving in the ability to express the sheer fundamental technical portions, their voice comes through more. And they get a better sense, and here's my word again, of fulfillment. Mm -hmm. And so art is a very fulfilling thing because, and it's weird, it's, it's oxymoronic, you know, because it's unnecessary. Because it doesn't, you know, it's not engineering and it's not medicine. So it's a... Unnecessary? You said it's unnecessary? It's not, it, it's, it's not a, a necessary thing for humanity in a practical sense. You know, mm -hmm, it's not, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, we're not building bridges. I used to say... Uh, in, in jest almost to, to classes that, hey, you know, we're not curing cancer. Uh -huh. And then I had somebody in my class, this is a few years ago, and she told me that she and she, she was there with her husband. They were in class and he was stage four. And she said, she said in, in so many words, this is saving his life. And I thought again about it. I went back and sort of fundamentally reconsidered it. And I should have, maybe I was just short-sighted, but it by being unnecessary, it may be the most necessary thing mm. because of its connection with this idea of, of really living to the fullest and to pull a cliche in. But there is something there. There's an essence there yeah. that really makes you feel alive that this is getting to. It's tapping into. And that's what makes it really valuable and undefinable. People talk about developing, you know, the art of cooking or, you know, the um, performance of, of a tennis player. Mm. Uh, to an art, yeah. you know, um, you know, something to the effect where it, it becomes, there's a fluency there. Mm. And at the same time, there's an opportunity flu through that fluency to express something that's vital to you. It makes you feel right with the world. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what art is. Okay. That's yes. That's lovely for sure. And, uh, I, I do, yeah, the the complexity and seeming uselessness, I guess, of art, um, I think, is almost all the more reason for you, uh, for what you were saying earlier, that it's like, 
to continue to ask the question. Um, because uh, I've been listening to, you know, podcasts and lectures or whatever on the subject recently. And besides having the conversations with other people, um, and it seems like some of these people really, I mean, consider art to, art and artists, you know, the people who make the work, to, who make art, objects of art, um, to have a very important mission. Um, the, there's, a, there's a clinical psychologist uh, named Jordan Peterson who, who, unfortunately, he doesn't talk about art as often as I would like him to so that he could elaborate more on the subject. But he, he talks about it in the um, personality trait aspect of the person who makes art. And, uh, you know, where he, he puts artists together with the entrepreneurs in the sense that they go into the shitty looking parts of town and they see something in there and they make it into something else. And, you know, I mean, we, we you know, we I, I'm pretty sure that it's happened more at least more than once in New York, where it's like, um, what what was it? The part that used to be super shitty or something, and then the artists used to live there. Mm -hmm. um, what the the village in Manhattan and whatever you know, um, whatever like that kind of like I, I cannot think of a, the name of a place right now, but it's happened at least twice in New York it, throughout history, uh, New York's more recent history, where like artists live in this area and then they by living there do their art thing and then the the you know capitalists or whatever it is then they move in there and then they gentrify everything and then the artists can't afford to live there anymore so like now that area is livable for regular quote unquote regular people you know so like according to this according to this um clinical psychologist that is you know that is the more obvious thing that artists do but they do something of the sort as well with the objects of art that they make um, right. Right. yeah, yeah. So, so they, uh, he, he also describes it in the sense of going into the unknown and making it known for everyone else or something like that, you know, like, yeah, uh, it, he, he, I, I think I yeah. would agree with Peterson on that. Going into the unknown is, as is, is being in, in some respect, like an explorer yes. and, and in a, a contemplative presence because what you're looking at, it's, it reminds me of, um, you know, when I was a kid and, and uh, I think, I can't remember uh, what my mom was watching, but I remember she was watching something. It was probably a movie and she's crying, you know, and it's, and, I, and I'm, I'm a kid. I'm like, if, if, if it's that sad, why are you watching? It? She's yeah. like, because, you know, it's beautiful. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, if there's something about the, uh, the contemplative eye in its capacity to go and look at tragedy, you know, like tragedy and see, see the, the art within it, see the, 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 the beautiful presence within that experience. And that, that's important because there is, there is something there called redemptive, call it what you want, but I mean, you could almost take, this art's a really weird word, you know, you could almost take that word and put human in because that's the human mm. side. I mean, we are human. We live on this planet and we are all doomed. You know, we're all going to go. So um, we're all going out the same way, no doubt about it, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, it's, it's a matter of, of taking what we can do as human beings and I think finding a, a way, a manner of connecting being alive that's what all it is yes yes that, that's yes 